What's up, YouTube? It's PZZ as seen here. Um, we're making an update video today. I've got quite a few things to talk about. Um, first thing I would like to uh, do is actually give a shout out to somebody. I dang it. Sorry, that light in the back. I thought I could get away with it today. I guess I can't. Grr. <sighs> there we go. All right. I'm actually going to be giving a shout out to somebody today. Um, I usually don't do shout outs, but I figured I might as well do this one because I happen to know this person personally. Um, and this person is, uh, well, his YouTube name is Eric Griffin Vlogs, so he's doing weekly giveaways, which I think is awesome. Unfortunately, uh, um, yesterday was the last day of his, um, Star Wars The Old Republic giveaway, so, um, but he's doing another giveaway this week, and it's apparently going to have an Apple theme. Um, now, when you go over there to watch his latest video, don't start thinking he's giving away two iPhones. He, he's using those as visual aids, but he's not actually giving away two iPhones. Um, which, when I heard that, disappointed me a little bit, but, you know, it doesn't matter. It might be iPhone related, but he's not going to give away two iPhones. I mean, that's just ridiculous. So, just telling you that right now, he will not be giving away two iPhones. Alright? He, I don't know what it is. I don't think he, even he knows, although he probably knows by now, but I don't know. But anyway, yeah, I know him personally, um, from church and stuff. He, uh, he doesn't really do, he doesn't really vlog, like, out and about, like, you know, in the town vlogs, if you know what I mean. Like, he doesn't, like, take a camera with him everywhere he goes, and, like, although I'm pretty sure he has a camera with him pretty much 24-7, but he doesn't really, you know, I, I don't, I haven't seen any videos of him actually, uh, well, okay, that's not entirely true, because he did do that. Anyway, just check out his videos, um, he's pretty cool. So, you will, uh, hopefully like him. Um, so that's that. Um, the second thing I would like to mention is something that is a little bit on the sad side. Um, no, you know what? Oh, here it is. Hang on. Ah. Alright. Something a little bit on the sad side. Um, yesterday I did two unboxings, which I've not yet uploaded. Well, actually, they're two unboxings, but they're in the same video. Um, one unboxing was of a little, uh, and I don't, I'm not getting worried about getting that out because it's in my backpack. Um, but basically a little, uh, Allen Wrench multi-tool type thing, if you know what that is. And, uh, I also unboxed this, which is a, um, a Jelly Bell. Alright, it's cool because you can see how it works. Alright, I think that's pretty neat. You can see how you got some gears in there that spin and it sort of, things like that. So that's pretty cool. Um... Now, I did this unboxing, and I wanted to, you know, I thought it'd be kind of cool if I did a little bit of a demo. So what I did was I was, um, I put this on my bike, and I realized that where I put it was causing a bit of problems because my lock was covering it and stuff, so I, uh, you know, I had my camera with me to show that I installed it, and then in the middle of that clip, I realized, oops, I put it in the, uh, I put it in a bad spot because my lock gets in the way. So what I did, I did something incredibly stupid, and you know, I do need to get my back fixed. Make sure you never do this. This here is my biking backpack, alright? I wear this with me every time I go on a bike ride, alright? Now, you've noticed that it has these two side pockets, alright? What I did, um, just real quickly, is I shoved my camera into this pocket right here, the side pocket. Let me zip this big pocket up here up front. And by the way, this here is the Allen wrench thing I was talking about. It's just got some little Allen wrenches in it that you can use. I thought that might come in handy eventually. Actually, it will be because I actually broke my mirror, which takes an Allen wrench, so. I'm thinking about going to Walmart today to get some notebook paper for school. I might go ahead and get a new mirror, too. We'll see. But I stuck it in here, and I was, um, unscrewing the screw, and I think what happened was I dropped... No, actually, what happened, it was weird. I dropped... This is not... I dropped the screwdriver, and the bit shot out, and I was trying to find where the bit went. And as I was bending down, guess what happened? Ooh, it tipped, and then out fell the camera onto a hard concrete ground, which was not good. Now, you might have already caught a glimpse of um, my sort of uh, redneck repair, if you will, I guess, redneck repair, um, but yes, this is the result. Well, I'll show you what happened here. I've got some electrical tape on it. 
and actually it still functions I was able to do the demo I don't know if I'm gonna upload that unboxing or not with the demo we'll see but um, if I go ahead and take this off I'm gonna have to give me some electrical tape I don't want to use duct tape because that's just gonna gunk this thing up but when I take this thing off I'll show you what happened All right. so it didn't actually like crack the camera or anything uh, what actually happened was one of the uh, latches for the battery holder kind of broke so it doesn't really shut all the way and I can with it turned on you know, if I pop this out a little bit disconnect the uh, batteries there actually have to uh, reopen it to get it to shut properly which is it takes a little bit of force to do that but I don't think I'm going to be using this much for bike PVs anymore, which I have shot a lot of bike PVs lately. I just haven't uploaded them for one reason or another. They're too long or they're too repetitive or too tedious or, and I just don't want to upload them for whatever reason. Um, but yes, that is kind of unfortunate. So now on top of my laptop, which you guys probably know I want to save up for, um, I now also need to get a new camera and I want to get a camera that is small and lightweight. I've, there's plenty of actual point and shoot cameras out there that will shoot 1080p video. That is probably way more than I need. To be honest with you guys, I'm not really interested in doing HD just because it's going to take forever. But we'll see. Maybe if I get a camera with HD capabilities, I'll probably take advantage of them. But I don't know. We'll, we'll see how it all works out. I'm just... I don't know if I'm ready. <laughs> um, anyway, yeah. Um, that is pretty unfortunate. But, as you saw, the camera still does work. I can film with it. Ew. <laughs> and, um... Yeah. So, that is good. But, it's just a little bit dinged up. Um, there are no casing cracks, although I can kind of feel, I think a hit on this corner, this is a little bit of a gap now. It's not really visible, but I kind of feel that's a little bit messed, a little bit, you know, incorrect there. But, uh, yeah, that is that. Um, is there anything else I could really mention? I don't really know. Um, so, at that, thanks for watching.